The following is a sponsored program paid for by Yaba TV. Welcome to Yaba TV Los Angeles. This is a show designed to bridge the cultural divide between Africans, African Americans, and our community at large. Today my show is very special. I have a guest that almost everybody knows, or if you don't know him, this is the time to really relax and enjoy this moment. His name is Gino Marvins, the legendary one and only Gino Marvin who actually played and performed with Bob Marley, the renowned world-known Bob Marley. He's a guitarist, he's a singer, and I tell you, this guy is brilliant. He's number 24 when it comes to guitar, best guitar players in the world. So today our show is special. We are bringing you something that you can use. If you love reggae music, definitely you want to stay tuned and watch this show. So tell everybody you know about our beautiful show. We'll be back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome back to our brilliant show, the Yaba TV show. I am your host, Yesia. So today, my show is very different. It's really exciting. You need to really take a moment to watch this show because it's going to be very exciting. I have with me one of the world's most legendary guitar players. He played with Bob Marley, sang with Bob Marley. His name is Junior Marvin. He's with me in the studio. I can't wait to hear what he has to say. So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me to welcome Junior Marvin. Hey, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here on yes. Never TV with the beautiful Sia Sia. Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, our audience around the world, they, some of them know you because you've been around for some time. But for the benefit of those that don't know you, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, well, I was born in Jamaica, and I grew up in England, in London, with my parents. And um, I was fortunate enough to have music through my family. My father played piano, my mother sang, and... Um, oh, wow, it runs yeah. in the family. Right, so uh, from birth, before I could even talk, they plunked me on a piano, mm. you know. And if I hit a wrong note, <laughs> I get a little scolding. You know, so it was very good discipline for me. Uh -huh. And uh, I didn't like it at the time, but as I grew older, I could see the discipline. The benefits of it. The benefits of it. Mm -hmm. And um, that's a family legacy that I'm very proud of. Mm -hmm. that we, you know, my grand aunt, her name was Nenen. She was a, uh, graduated from the University of the West Indies. Mm -hmm. And she made sure everyone in the family knew as much as she could teach about music. Mm. And she her herself was a piano professor, so mm -hmm. it was a beautiful experience. So talking about guitar and piano, um, I read in, in the paper that among the top 75 guitar players, you are number 24! <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I don't even believe it myself because I admire so many guitar players mm. who I think are much better than me, you know, like George Benson. I heard that I was voted above him, and I can't believe that, you know, West Montgomery. B.B. King, Albert King, Eric Clapton. Thompson. Well, I feel Clapton is in the top five most probably, but to be voted that high, it's an honor. And yes. I, I'm still practicing every day. Mm. <laughs> wow, for those I can imagine. Who, yeah, for the young people, you know, practice, practice, repetition, repetition, mm -hmm. and you can get there. Mm -hmm. Just believe in yourself and work hard. Mm. Wonderful. So at the back of my mind, I'm thinking, you sang with Bob Marley. You played guitar and sing song with Bob Marley. I remember growing up in Sierra Leone wow. when it's Bob Marley's birthday. We light up candle and just sing oh. and dance on the street. That's so nice. Yes. Bob is The birth? song, um, Get Up, Stand Up for Your Right. Yeah. Get up, stand, stand up. up, stand up for your right. <laughs> Get up, stand, stand up. up. Don't, Don't give, give up, up the fight, fight. see? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. Yes. Well, Bob is popular all over the world. Africa, we went to um, Zimbabwe mm -hmm. for the independence. Mm -hmm. We went to Gabon. And I myself has been to Senegal. And uh, I love it. I mm. love every minute. I Did felt you eat like the jollof rice? Home. I beg your pardon? Jollof rice. 
Jollof rice? Yeah, jollof rice. That's the, one of their main staple food. Ah, wow. You didn't I had try everything. that. <laughs> <laughs> I had everything there. It was beautiful. Oh, wow. You know. Okay. So let's talk about you. One of the beauty of what you do, the fact that you know how to play guitar so well. Where are you now? I know you've just done a movie. Uh, your your son Devo played uh, uh, the, yeah. the role for you, Bob One Love, Bob Marley movie, right, right. and it's coming out on February 14th, correct? Valentine's Day, yeah. Yes. Funny enough, I met Bob Marley on Valentine's Day mm -hmm. in 77, and on the same day, I got a call from Stevie Wonder mm. to join his band. But what made the difference was Stevie wanted me to sign for 10 years with his company, mm. Black Bull Music. Mm -hmm. And Bob said, let's do a handshake. If you're happy, you stay. If you're not happy, you know. <laughs> just like <laughs> that. Just like that. <laughs> and I called Stevie and I said, you know, Bob doesn't want me to sign for 10 years. And um, if I'm not happy, you know, we'll just shake hands. Mm. And uh, Stevie said, well, try it out with Bob. If it doesn't work, give me a call. <laughs> wow. And I couldn't believe he said that, you know, and, but it worked out. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I'm a great fan of Stevie Wonder, too. Awesome. Yeah. Let's talk about you. Um, people know you around the world, but what is unique, really, about the talent that you bring on the table to the world? Let's talk about that. Well, I'm a father. I have seven kids. Seven kids? Yeah. Three oh boys my goodness. and four A whole village. <laughs> <laughs> not quite, a, not quite a village. <laughs> but um, you know, I think being a role model for your children is very important, mm -hmm. and to teach them morals and discipline mm -hmm. and discretion, and teach them that you know unconditional love is the love. Mm, you know, I and see. Uh, how to be respectful to others, no matter what color or creed or where you're from, mm -hmm. or what religion, um, to be truthful to the best of your ability, mm -hmm. and to honor your mother and father. Mm, and, I like that. And my son is playing me in the Bob Marley movie. His name yes. is Davo, and I'm very proud of him, and I'm proud of my other sons as well. Mm -hmm. They're all musicians. They all went to oh, music wow. college. Mm -hmm. Their mom made sure they got a piece of paper, <laughs> yes. you know, to get that degree. And I'm very happy and proud, and uh, I want to share that message of father, you know, fathers for their children, for the family. And my new album is titled Apple Fam Happy Family. Mm -hmm. uh, my representative, uh, Jeff, is here with me mm -hmm. um, to make sure I say all the right things. Mm. <laughs> We're on Flat Iron Records and recordings, they call it, Flat Iron Recordings. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been a beautiful journey. And I'm, I practice every day. I sing every day. And it's not over till the fat lady says so, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So we have a lot to share with you, audience, because I tell you one thing, it's loaded with talent. We're going to get a little bit of everything today. I want to make sure I dive into his world. Right. But we need to take a quick break to acknowledge the people that put a smile on our faces. We'll be back after these messages. Hey. Hey. You're back with our lovely show, the Yaba TV show. I am your host, Yasir. So we are speaking with the legendary Junior Marvin. And if you remember Bob Marley and the Whalers, he is one of them. He's actually a guitarist, number 24. I mean, one, what, I mean, one of the best guitarist players in the world, number 24. Can you, you can beat that. So I'm talking to Gino Marvin, and uh, I'd like to know a little bit more about the movie that uh, Devo played a role, right. your song. Right. Let's talk about Devo. He, we miss his flight. Yes. He was supposed to have been here with, with right. this. Unfortunately, with us. Mother Nature had another plan. <laughs> yeah. So we move on, you know, and whether rain, you need the rain, you need the snow, you need the sun, we need, we need everything. Mm -hmm. But we have to be patient with Mother Nature. Absolutely. Right. But so it, we're going to be just fine because yeah. we're going to show a clip of right. what uh, we'll Devo has happen. done, the movie. Right. And uh, the movie is coming out on February 14. Go see it. Yeah. So let's take a look at the movie. Let's see. Won't you help to sing these songs of freedom? Because all I ever have redemption songs. When you write that? All my life. Are you ready for 
Reggae is the people music. Bob, I know it's dangerous. But you're the only one who can unite the people. You ready, Bob? No guns can stop this message. I want the world to change. And that time is now. Wow, that's awesome. Everybody should go and see this movie. It's awesome. The life of Bob Marley. Yes. One love. Yes, I'm very proud of Bob and his message. Yes. And his spirituality mm -hmm. and his communication with people all over the world, mm -hmm. no matter what color or creed. And I'm very proud to be part of his entourage, his band. And we're looking forward to this movie. Everyone is looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And I, my son did a very good job of uh, playing his dad. Yes. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Well, I know you have other sons, but he played the role that you well, he were going to play. Well, we're, we're twins. Most people say, are you guys twins? And it's our father and son. Thanks for the compliment. I saw the picture. <laughs> he actually looks like you. He sounds some just like you. <laughs> He's better looking than me. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say that, otherwise he'd <laughs> be, hey, dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK. It's OK. Yeah, so yeah. Um, just like me and my daughter, that's a younger version of me. Of course, it's, yeah. People say, I have two daughters, but there's one that looks more like me. So people say, oh, you guys are twins. Right. So I said the same thing to you, for yes. you and your son. Well, he'll be very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy. And he did a really good job, and um, he had a guitar coach and a vocal coach and a speech coach, and uh, they all loved him. And they said that when he did one scene in the beginning, it inspired the whole cast. Everybody's, we've got to come up to Devo's standards, you know. He really did his job perfectly, and we've all got to step up our game, especially, um, you know, the, the person who's playing Bob. You know, and uh, he said, like, your son really did you proud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's Wonderful. Ben Adair is his name. Wonderful. Yeah. So now let's talk about you and Bob Marley. What was life like hanging out with Bob, good days and sometimes not so good of a day? How do you handle all that? Well, Bob was a workaholic. And, uh, you know, he really worked hard. Like, he'd write 10 songs and then there'd be another 10 more, and you go, how did you write those so quickly, you know? And he go, well, you know, I have a mission. I'm on a mission uh, to bring black and white together, to mm -hmm. bring all people together. And I, if, I, if I have to do it by myself, I'm going to do it. Mm. But I'm on that mission. And I said to him one day, so don't you ever get a writer's block? Don't you ever get like, you know, you can't think of things to write? Mm. He said, let me tell you a secret. Whenever I have a little stumble, I go to a bar and I buy everybody a drink. <laughs> and when, I, when, when they get the drink, I come out with 20 more songs. <laughs> oh my God, just like that. Yeah, because everybody starts telling him stories about their life, you know. Yes. And it, they give him inspiration and, and ideas. And he has a photographic memory. He yeah, absorbs everything. Yeah, he's very good. And then he comes he's up like with you other with that. songs. Like you with the photographic memory. He's oh, very thank good. thank you. And uh, he'd say, listen, I go to a bar, buy them a drink, and they tell me stories. And I have 20 more songs, <laughs> at least. Wow. <laughs> you know. So that was very funny, I thought. Yes. But anyway, um, yeah, working with Bob is really an inspiration for me. Mm -hmm. And he likes the truth. And a lot of people would say, oh, Bob, that's a, that's a green table. And they look at them like, and they'd say, Junior, what's that? I said, oh, that's not green. That's brown hair and it's African drum. And, mm. you know, and he wanted someone to tell him the truth about everything. Mm -hmm. How was the show tonight? Everyone's telling me it's so good. Well, a couple of songs, we kind of had a little hiccup, but I don't think the audience noticed. But let's straighten it out in the next rehearsal. It sounds like that's what he's I a worst hear. critic for himself. Yes, he wants to be like... Perfectionist. Yeah, he wants to, um, you know, compromise. No, I want the best. All right, I'm not going to take... Don't settle for anything else. Right. Just and the best. He likes criticism 
that's productive, you know? Constructive. Constructive is the word, mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. And so that was my job, to always be on the same level and don't look up to anyone, don't look down on anyone, treat everyone as equal. And mm. he respected that. And whenever people asked him things and he didn't want to answer, he said, Junior, what did you say about that? And then he'd wait for me to react because he knew I would react and say what he would say. But maybe they don't have to hear it from him. Mm. Hear it from somebody else. It's, mm. it's one truth, you know. So let me ask you this about Bob. Maybe you may know. What did he think about? What was how? Put it this way. My thoughts on dating when it comes to Africans dating, Jamaicans dating, yeah. is different from how most Americans date. Right. What was his pattern? Well, <laughs> 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 got to be careful here. I think, you know, he's. He said that women are the mothers of creation. Mm. And he totally respects women. And he was very shy as a kid growing up and very scared to talk to women. Really? Very, very, very shy. And when he you know, got older and more confident, he was very respectful. But if he liked someone, he would let them know. You go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he was very respectful. Uh -huh. Yeah, he uh -huh. would not force anyone to do anything mm -hmm. they didn't want to do. And he'd always respect the woman's wishes, mm -hmm. you know. So the people know you around the world, but for the benefit of those that don't know you, look at our camera and say where they can connect with you. Well, you can connect with Junior Marvin, the legendary whaler at JuniorMarvin.com. Or you can connect with me through flatironrecordings.com. And basically that's it. Or you can hit me up on Instagram, Junior Marvin, or Marvin7777. Seven is my lucky number. I met Bob on the 14th, which is 2-7. Mm -hmm. And I met him in 77. Mm. So that's four sevens. Marvin7777, Instagram. It all means so much to you. Very much. But before we go, I have an award for you. What? Yes. Are you kidding? It says, Community Merit Award 2024, presented to Junior Marvin. Thank you for your outstanding commitment of time, support, and inspiration. Signed wow. by me, Elizabeth Yaba. Aww. This is for you. I can't believe it. Thank you, Yaba TV. Thank you, Cecilia. Wow. This is beautiful. I should treasure it. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm honored. Thank yes, you. You're welcome. Don't forget, Yaba TV. It's where it all happens. History, knowledge, understanding, overstanding, and truth. Thank and you. And of course, art. Before we go, can you tell us, as we celebrate this black history, who are your black heroes? My number one hero is Nelson Mandela mm -hmm. for what he endured and what he made people happy and proud of, that no violence, no matter if you put him in jail for 50 years, he never preached violence. Mm -hmm. And also Muhammad Ali, he's very funny, very smart, and I love him too. All right. And Jimi thank Hendrix. You. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your time on Yaba TV and what you bring to the world, to the world out there, your guitar, your singing, it's beautiful. Thank and you. You have a tour coming up. You have a song, music. I have an music, album. Album coming up. Yeah. All of that. Follow us on Yaba TV because we're going to bring more of Junior Marvin to you. This is not the only television broadcast with Junior Marvin. He's going to come again on the show. Now I'll put you on the spot. Thank you. Yes, definitely. I appreciate that. And by the way, the album is titled Happy Family. And that happy family is the whole world. Oh, well, mm -hmm. we're one family here mm -hmm. on this planet for a very short time. So let's be happy mm -hmm. and teach the children the truth. Let the legacy continue. Happy yes. family. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes. In my language, we say ingwe. Ingwe. Yes. That's kono. Ingwe. Yes. So we need to take a quick break to acknowledge our sponsors. When we come back, we are going to wrap up with the show. So you don't want to miss this moment. Tell everybody you know about our brilliant show. Be back after this messages. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our television broadcast today. 
We are on every Sunday at 4 p.m. right here on KKR Los Angeles. Where as you have listened to us, Junior Mavi and I, with this brilliant interview, the movie is coming out on February 14th. You wanna go see it, make it a Valentine's date with your loved one. You don't wanna miss it. And then the CD is coming out on February 23rd. So it's double dose. Not only are we talking about black history, he's making his story. So go and see the movie and come back and send me a dialogue. Tell me what you feel about the movie because I've seen it, I love it. And I can't wait for you to tell me what you feel about the movie. So if you have a show idea, or you'd like to be a guest on our show, and you have what it takes to be a guest on this show, contact us. If you're just coming in town and want to connect with our international platform, contact us. If you're getting married or you have a special celebration and you want Yaba TV coverage, contact us. Our phone number is 562-833-8294. Follow us on Instagram, Yaba TV Los Angeles. Follow us on YouTube, Yaba TV Los Angeles. While you're there, like, share, and subscribe. That put a big smile on my face. Ta-da! Till then, we'll see you next week at the same time on the Yaba TV show, your contemporary bridge to the motherland, Africa.